In today's read aloud, we are going to explore a book called Wolf or Coyote. And remember that on Mondays, we always work to learn something new. So today, we are going to learn the difference in wolves and coyotes. Another thing that we're going to be talking about today is comparing and contrasting. We're going to talk about how coyotes and wolves are the same and how coyotes and wolves are different. So let's discover these amazing creatures and let's find out what they have in common and let's also find out what they have that is different about the two. Wolves and coyotes. Wolves and coyotes are mammals with thick fur. They are similar to dogs. And in this photograph, you can uh, look carefully at the coyotes. These are two coyotes. Wolves and coyotes both live in groups. How are they different? Well, so far we know that wolves and coyotes are both mammals. We also know that they both live in groups. We know that that is what they have that is similar about them. But now let's discover how are they different. Different looks. Wolves are big. They have wide snouts. Their ears are short. So if you don't know what a snout is, over here in the photograph, it is showing, it's pointing right here to a snout. A snout is another word for the wolf's nose. So remember that wolves are big with wide snouts and short ears. Coyotes are smaller. They have thinner snouts. Their ears are tall. So remember, we are talking about how they are different. So remember that coyotes are smaller, wolves are big, wolves have wide snouts, short ears, and coyotes have tall ears and thin snouts. Wolves can be gray, black, or white. Coyotes are often gray. Some are red and brown. So in our photograph here is two white wolves and then below you can see a red and brown uh, coyote. Different lives. Wolves and coyotes make sounds to communicate. Wolves howl a long, low call. And here's an example of what wolves look like whenever they are howling. Remember, their howl is long and low. Coyotes bark. The sound is short and high-pitched. They howl, too. So remember, coyotes bark and wolves howl. Coyotes can howl, however, we know that uh, the sound that coyotes make is short and high-pitched. Wolves hunt large animals like elk. Coyotes hunt small animals like rabbits. Which hunter is this? So look carefully at this photograph. Do you think this is a wolf? Or do you think this is a, a coyote? Correct, this is a coyote. Notice the tall ears, the thinner snout, and as well as this coyote has found a duck. Remember, a duck is considered a smaller animal. Side by side. So, here is some more uh, physical differences of wolves and coyotes. Remember that wolves have the wide snout, whereas uh, coyotes have a thin snout. Remember coyotes have red and brown or gray fur. Uh, wolves are gray, white, or black. And wolves have short ears, whereas coyotes have tall ears. 
Remember, coyotes hunt small animals. They bark or howl to communicate. Um, wolves hunt large animals, and wolves howl to communicate. Awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this great book. I hope you had fun comparing and contrasting wolves and coyotes. Remember, we looked at what was the same about these two animals. Remember, they are both mammals. Remember that they both live in groups. Their groups are called packs. And we learn the differences in these two animals. Remember what type of text is this book? That's right, it is a nonfiction book. And I hope you all enjoyed comparing and contrasting wolves and coyotes.